are you doing? Good morning, really early here uh, outside Lake Tahoe. Well, this is not Lake Tahoe anymore. I mean, right. Like, tell us where we are and what are we going to do? We are at the beginning of the Rubicon Trail, Loon Lake. Yeah. An amazingly beautiful day today, but... You no, know, it's been a lot of fires around this area, and yesterday actually was very hazy, you couldn't see much, but today is beautiful. It, when they you clean up for us <laughs> yeah right we got lucky i think but you're a, you're at the beginning of probably the most difficult off-roading you'll do for an entire day are you Excellent. ready for it so yeah tell us a little bit just about before we start not to scare me <laughs> but like no, no. just to know what are we going to do how long it is how is it going to take the uh we are starting at the beginning part of the rubicon trail so we have obstacles throughout starting with big granite bowls going into big boulders and trees and It'll, the landscape will change dramatically throughout the day. Okay. Um, the difficulty level doesn't. So that's the amazing <laughs> thing about the Rubicon Trail is it's one challenge after another. There's very little break. But, but we have very proper cars to ride, right? You are in a brand new Jeep Rubicon JL. It is more than, it is the best vehicle to go through this trail with. Okay, uh, so let's start, I guess. All right, yeah, we'll be... Uh, uh, we have to set it in low. So we low are... Or? Yeah, I think you're still in four high, so we'll go to neutral, shift her down into four wheel low. So in and down, in and back. And if you're if it's not moving, we can uh, just roll forward a little bit. There you go, now try it. Did it come up on there? Are we in four yeah. low? Alright. And here All right. we go. Okay, cool, let's do it. Alright. And how long is there doing this? There's this drive today? Miles or time? either either one you want to tell us. Miles, I think we're going just under eight miles. And it's gonna take us anywhere between uh, probably eight and ten hours. So a mile an hour more or less. Roughly. Okay. As that's you cool. can see already, that's where the group ahead of us. So Greg, we're here like in the eighth hour maybe of driving so far, I think. I've lost track I of mean, time, but I believe you're about right. Well, you, you haven't lost track of the dirt you have collected. <laughs> can I, <laughs> can I take too. some? Everybody is like, but that's the fun thing. I mean, getting dirty, it gets the car dirty. Yeah. And uh, now we're going through a little bit of water here. So it's been great. I mean, the, the car handles a lot like you expect of the Jeep. The only thing like worries me a little bit is when you hit the slip brakes and like boom, it hits really hard. And you feel like, oh my god, did I have to grab that? But I guess that's what we are for, right? That's why they're there, exactly. The uh, So out here, this is such a challenging trail, but you're in a stock uh, Wrangler, so you don't have the clearance. So a lot of these other guys go over that stuff. You need those skid plates to protect everything underneath. Yeah, they are, we've seen other cars with like in, uh, tires that are like a couple inches bigger, so that makes a huge oh, yeah. difference. Oh yeah. The group in front of us, you have 37s up there. 37, so. yeah. We got stuck a couple things, a couple times, but nothing that a Jeep can. can Not stuck when you drive out of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, for a few seconds. Yeah, so. right. Some big boulders coming up here. Yeah. I think you got it. Well, yep, as close as you can get to that and go as straight as you can. You're right on it here. There you go. Now you're gonna have to come back. Ooh. We keep, you're, keep going. Just nipped a little bit of the fender, it didn't do any damage. Very tight spaces. So you're in a brand new G JL Rubicon Wrangler. Well, not brand new after we finished today. But there's a guy a couple in front of you who's in a brand new Rubicon JL Wrangler. Well, They've only been out for how long and they already, they're already on the trail. Yeah. That's a great thing about these cars. I mean, the culture in this mm -hmm. community, it's really, oops, you got it. It's really something special. There's nothing like it in any other brand in the world. Maybe Harley in, there, yeah. in the motorcycles. But yeah. in cars, I don't think there's anything like it. Well, if you look at the boulders you've gone over, which are the you know size of a Volkswagen, yeah. some of them, but you get out, yeah, and you'll get on the highway and you'll just drive back to the hotel. Yeah, yeah super. I mean, yeah. it's crazy, and just straight, let go of the wheel, and it just, I know. which is amazing. That that amazes me every time. All right, and we are. This is property line. 
Oh, really? You ready for it? Property line for what? For the camp? Well, it's the area of the trail called property line. It's a very difficult stretch in the, oh, the trail. Oh, this is the, the, the final test. One of the, yeah, the, one, the most difficult thing you have left today. Okay, let's uh, set up cameras in a different way. I will do it. Okay. okay. <laughs> and he's gonna out because he's gonna guide <laughs> you. He doesn't trust me that much. No. Well, Greg, uh, we look a little bit different today. We switch sides for one thing, and then we look clean. <laughs> oh, I feel clean. This, that's the, one of the best parts is when you get to get clean. Yeah, so uh, the one thing that I was uh, remembering all night after we spent the, the night at the uh, Spring is that right before we got there, you said, this is going to be the last difficult thing you're going to face today. But then we faced many difficult more things that day, and then the second day, even more complicated things. When you never get used to the trail. I've been through that trail more than 50 times and there seems like I always forget something there's always yeah. more. So I apologize, <laughs> no, but I mean, you made it through. No, I mean, no, no need to apologize. <laughs> it was exciting, it was uh, it was fun, but challenging because I, I was always thinking, okay, we're done, and then like, wow, another one. And I think that's one of the, the, of the facts of the trail that it's an unattended road, so it changes all the time too. Yep, yep. it's different every time. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So we experienced, uh, what was the name of the observatory? Uh, uh, observa observation Point, but yeah. to get there you had to climb up Cadillac oh, Hill. Oh, that was, yeah, that was Which, fun. again, is one of the most challenging things and probably the most dangerous part of the trip. Yeah, from this side. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. And then what was the last, the very, very, very last one? The very, very, very last thing was Dollar Hole, which yeah. Uh, years ago, it wasn't that big, or that difficult, but it's gotten more and more difficult. So it was quite a challenge today yeah, or yesterday. Was, yeah, it was. It was very interesting. And now we're experiencing the other side of, of Jeep, like yeah. driving in a very capable off-roading vehicle, but like very comfortable, very so, quiet on the road. And that's the amazing thing about doing this experience that you realize how these cars really have two personalities. Yeah, I mean, it, it never ceases to amaze me to watch. The Wrangler climb over rocks the size of cars, all four wheels going yeah. different directions. You think you'll never heights. make it. <laughs> and then you get back on the road and it's smooth. I know. I, it, 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 that is amazing to it's me. It's a really I love incredible it. thing. So now we're uh, going from uh, Squaw Valley to Reno to take the flight for the next adventure, which won't be on a team and won't be as exciting. And I bet you the only <laughs> difficulty we're gonna face there, I'm going to LA, so ah, I'm facing LA traffic. traffic that yep. is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> and so off-road, I mean, four-wheel drive, no-wheel drive, whatever, it's gonna be more difficult than the trail, I think. Well, you're always welcome on the Rubicon, and we hope to see you back. Thank you very much, Greg. <laughs> it was you. an amazing experience. All right.